State wrestling is now underway with opening round action at the Schottenstein Center. Some 30 plus local wrestlers in action, including three from Wapakoneta, district champ at 138 pounds, Tyler Copeland, and Landon Hall, who placed second in the 195 pound weight class. Let's start with the Division III championship prelims. And 120 pounds, LCC's Hunter Lucas picks up two en route to a 16 5 victory. So he advances on, staying at 120 pounds. Wayne Traces Ruger, Dolson Lecter picks up two. He wins this match 4-2, also advancing on. Fellow Raider George Clemens at 126 gets the shoulders down, able to pin his opponent. Good day for a couple of Wayne Trace Raiders. At 132 pounds, Adis Chase Sumner gets the escape, but he falls in this match. He does win by pin in his first round consolation match. Coldwater Spencer Siebert, two points here. It's a 7-4 victory for Spencer. Delphi St. John's Brett Vonderwall, two points. He loses this match 5-4, also falls 5-1 in the first round constellation at 170 pounds. Now Delphus Jefferson's Hunter Binkley, the escape, falls in this match five to two to Sycamore Mohawk and also loses in his first round constellation. Van Buren, Nick DeVore, two points here. He loses this one via pin though and also goes down in the constellation first round. 285 pounds, Sonoras, Derek Smith pins Bluffton's Blake Sampson. Blake does come back and get his victory in the consolation match with a pin though. B2 now, he got his Blaine Hunter the escape, but he falls in a 5-2 decision, or 11-4 there, then lost 5-2 in the consolation. Wapak's Tyler Copeland at 138 pounds, earning back points. He's victorious, 8-1. But defiance is Gage Grundon at 145. Two points, picks up the 6-2 victory, and then 170, Bath's Trey Terry. Big two points here, he would go on to win in a sudden victory overtime, 7-5. At 182, Defiance is Robbie Bowers. He's got the leg. That's a takedown. Wins the match by a 4-2 decision. And at 195, Wapak's Landon Hall. An easy escape here. He wins this match 3-1. And we will have more from the Schottenstein tomorrow on the Sports Review.